All right. Well, hey, everybody. Rob Satram here from FeedbackWrench.com. We help small businesses with their websites, web presence, SEO, and digital marketing. And today, I want to show you how to set up Gmail or G Suite with Microsoft Outlook. That's setting up Gmail or G Suite with Microsoft Outlook. We'll talk about the two differences in just a moment. So um, right off the bat, just so you know, if you Google and look up um, setting up Gmail with Outlook, and it could be Outlook 2013, 2016, or some of the other ones, you're going to come across these basic settings. So what you're going to do is you have to log into your Gmail account, open up the settings tab. Um, and what that'll look like is you go in here, you're going to go to your Gmail. So go to Gmail. Once you're in there, you're going to hit this little settings tab and you go down to settings. And the first thing you're going to see is you've got to click forwarding and pop IMAP. You have to like turn on the ability for this to, to do what's called IMAP. Now there's pop and IMAP. We're going to be using IMAP with Outlook and we'll look at that in just a second. So the first thing is you come down here. So it was settings, forwarding, pop IMAP, go on to where it says status IMAP disabled. You want to enable it then you need to hit save. That's the first step. You just have to actually tell um, Gmail or G Suite, and it, we'll touch on that, but you have to tell Gmail to allow this IMAP. So that's the first hit step, hit save. And once you've done that, we'll start diving into Microsoft Outlook. Now it might be kind of hard to see here, but there's gonna be a blog post linked in this YouTube video. This YouTube video is going to be embedded on the blog post, but basically what you'll do is you'll hit the file button in the upper left hand corner then we'll go over to add account and once you've clicked add account you're going to be putting in some um, settings here now the first thing you need to do is see where it says email account here or manual setup you're going to click manual setup then click next and once you get there you have to select pop or imap that's what you're going to be doing. So select that, hit next. And this is where things get a little bit, they're not confusing at all, but this is where you have to get really on dialed in here because it can get really annoying. So what you're going to do is you put in your name. Now the name is just your actual first and last name. That That's not a setting that's going to be on Outlook as your name. Then you type in your email address, so it's johnny at gmail.com, or if you have G Suite, it might be bob at yourdomain.com or, you know, crimple.com or whatever it is, feedbackwrench.com. That might be it. Then, this is really important. In this setting, you have to select IMAP. Once you select IMAP, don't forget to do that. Go type in imap.gmail.com, then SMTP dot gmail.com don't goof it up and type google i've done that before so it's imap and smtp dot gmail.com then down here you're going to go into username and you're going to type in now this site is saying leave off the uh the at gmail.com but in my experience you have to type in the username needs to be your whole um email address and then the password for your gmail so this is your gmail username which is your whole email address and then your password. Then you have to click remember password and then you're going to hit more settings. As soon as you hit more settings, what you do is it's going to start out at general. You go to outgoing server. You're going to click my outgoing server. SMTP requires authentication. Use the same. Make sure that it says remember this password. You hit save. Um, now you're going to go down to the advanced tab. And this is where you're going to see some different things, okay? So you hit advanced, and you want to make sure that this IMAP is at 993. Make sure that that's there. And then SSL. And now this is where I've seen every, I've seen a couple different settings. But for your outgoing SMTP, everything that we've done, you use 25. So here in this how-to, it's saying 587. Um, in some of the other ones, they've been... So here they're saying 465 with SSL. That's not what you're doing, okay? Put 25 there and then TLS. 25 and then TLS, hit OK. And then what's going to happen is hopefully when things all work, you're going to have this little pop-up here. 
But the reason why I'm making this video is because this little pop-up is not easy to get. Oftentimes, things don't work, okay? And this thing will pop up and it'll get frozen here and it will not work. And all of a sudden, the username and password keeps popping up and it wants you to put username and password. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. What you do is you head into your account. So you're going to hit your, go to Google, right? Mouse over your face or your little emblem and hit my account. What we need to do, this is a Gmail account here. Remember, there's Gmail, which is for free, or G Suite, which is the paid version um, for to have an email with your domain on it, right? So we're going to touch on both here. But you go up here, you hit um, account, and then come over here and hit signing into Google. Under sign in and security, go to signing into Google. All right, so you click that, and up kind of comes this whole, there's a lot of settings here. What we want to do is we want to go to apps with account access. Apps with account access. Now, what you'll see over here is that there's a little section called allow less secure apps. If that is not turned on, you need to turn that on. Outlook is considered a less secure app and you need to allow it to do that. In Gmail, when you get down here, in Gmail, this option should be here. If your company has G Suite and they have turned on your ability to change this, you will see this. However, if you are a G Suite user and you've never gone into the G Suite admin control, that option will not be there and you will be frustrated. So what you need to do is you need to go to your G Suite admin panel, okay? So now this is a different account. Um, you actually are gonna hit and go, oh, you're gonna go to this admin tab here, which is your G Suite admin. Once you're in there, this is where you change your billing information, add more users or more people, you know, emails, John at, Freddie at, whatever that is, but you're gonna go to security. Once you get into security, we're gonna do the same thing, but we have to do it from the administration level. We're gonna do the same thing of shutting off this or turning on the ability to do this less secure app. So once you hit basic settings, okay, you're gonna go down here and in basic settings under security, you'll see that you can go to the settings for less secure apps. And you can turn that on. There's a couple options. Um, the default is that it's disabled and you can't use Outlook. Then you have allow users to manage their access. If you turn that on, that means each user needs to go in and change that level of access. Or you can enforce access to less secure apps for every user. It says it's not recommended, but you always have to manage the tension between security and headaches. Obviously opt for security in most cases. So. That's for admin uh, console in G Suite. Hopefully that'll help you. Usually when you do that change and you've gone in and made darn sure that your settings are all correct here. Like I said, I see different directions for the outgoing SMTP. Um, here it's saying to do 465 as the outgoing, which is this SMTP number or 587. But in our experience, 25 works as well. You'll see each one of these dialogues that help you out tell you to do different settings um, i've never had for smtp i've never had the ssl setting so don't do that but hopefully that helps you get set up if you've got any questions let us know and appreciate the time